Hello guys, this is Zhi Cheng from the Tech Revolutionist and today we are going to take a look at the ASUS Z87i-Pro Mini ITX motherboard. based on the new Intel as well Z87 chipset. Uh, it's also one of the first mini ITX motherboard out in the market uh, from with, uh, with other also competing brands. Uh, this is one of the more uh, high-end. Uh, in fact, it, is, it, is, it has all the features that you need for uh, a decent, a very decent gaming build. Uh, and there you have it. <laughs> the first thing you realize from the Z87i Pro Mini ITX motherboard is the use of space for the different components on the motherboard. So you can realize that uh, ASUS has adopted a more 3D oriented uh, placing of the components, having an additional 12 plus 2 DG plus VRM, which delivers extremely uh, clean and stable power uh, power uh, voltages and uh, uh, and currents to the CPU. So um, instead of your usual uh, mini ITX boards which, which actually prevents you from doing having a very high overclocks, this board actually will allow you to do even better than those motherboards out there. So we are of course running on a LGA1150 uh, pin uh, compatible with all the latest as well processors out on the market. Uh, for example, the Intel Core i7 4770K as well as the Core i5s and all those based on LGA1150. Uh, additionally, we also can take a look at uh, there are actually two RAM slots, so we support the DR3 RAM for speeds of above 100, uh, 1600 megahertz natively, so you can actually bring your uh, overclocks up to even possibly even 3000 megahertz if possible if you have a pair also have a good pair of RAMs or and your IMC is actually good enough and additionally this of course unlike many uh, other ITX it has in fact really two, six SATA 6 gigabits per second slots which allows you to put up to six um, your SATA drives out there uh, of SATA 6, 6 gigabit per second uh, compatibility so additionally, we also can see a full PCI Express X16 slot over here. It runs, of course, your graphics card at full speed at X16 PCI Express 3.0. Uh, we have four motherboard fan headers out here, one for the CPU, and of course, you can add additional uh, fans for your chassis uh, just by plugging it, the four pin uh, CPU fans out, or, or, or your fans out there over here. And there's also one USB 3.0 extension port for your front panel. Um, this board uses, instead of a uh, 4-pin, uses an 8-pin, so you can make sure that you have an 8-pin instead of a 4-pin plug into here. But of course, your 4-pin will still work. And there's also a 24-pin placed nicely at the side of the board so that your cables will actually cable man you, you will have a neater cable management overall. And let's take a look at the I.O. So as for the I.O., first we have four USB 2.0 ports. Uh, for your peripherals, your mouse, your keyboard, and all those. Of course, there's a DVI out for that uses a iGPU from directly from the Haswell CPU. There is a BIOS flashback as well as a reset CMOS button, and we have a SP diff optical out and a HDMI port, a Display port, and then we have a, a really really beefed up six USB 3.0. Ports, which actually gives you speeds of over 5 gigabits per second and then there is a gigabit LAN from Intel so this is uh, your Intel gigabit LAN instead of a real tech so you'll have much better latency and speeds coming out from this port there is built-in wireless AC uh, the Wi-Fi Go card we call it uh, from ASUS so you have a wireless AC right out of the box as well as a real tech ALC1150 8 channel high definition audio codec uh, out from these three little pots right here. Uh, that's, so that is the end of a nice overview of this motherboard. We also take a look at the accessories that comes with it. First we have uh, tons of 
SATA cables though, there's one, two, three, four, three, four, five, and six SATA 6 gigabit per second cables right inside the box. And then there is a piece of paper, it's a quick start guide, and then of course the user guide as well. And lastly, the two items found inside the box is the IO shoe, which is, a, is of a nice black color, which is also padded, that means there's a little bit of cushion to it, so it will prevent some kind of vibration towards your back of the case at, uh, in contact with the IO shoe. And lastly, we have a wireless extender that makes sure that your wireless gets the full range out from the case, so you can connect this directly to the back of the motherboard. So that's it, uh, this is the overview of the Z87i Python Pro motherboard from ASUS.